All right, today I'm here at the range and I have my uh, one of my smokeless muzzle loaders. I just wanted to show you a little bit about it. It's uh, it actually started its life as a uh, 4570, it's an HR uh, break open style. And I took the barrel as soon as I bought it, took it off, and sent it to a guy in Tennessee. Uh, and what he did is he took that barrel and chambered it for a savage breech plug. So it still uses the 209 primers. However, it is now designed to use smokeless powder. So I'm using uh, a reduced load of SR4759. Uh, I'm going to load it up here real quick. I'll take a shot and see what it looks like. This load of the uh, SR4759, I've shot it already, chronographed it. Like I said, it's a reduced load. It really doesn't kick hardly at all. Uh, it's a good load for you know, if you take your kids muzzle loading or if you're just sensitive to recoil. Now, the bullets I'm using, these are actually surplus uh, Hornady bullets and then what you, you almost have to have these harvester light blue sabots if you're going to shoot smokeless check your wick for smart you always want to check that Always leave a fired primer in there so I don't have any powder fall out the back. Put the last primer in. And we're ready to go. Uh, bear with me a second and I'll get set up. We'll take a shot. All right, here we are. We all set up 300 yards. Uh, with the smokeless muzzle loader, we're going to take a shot in here, see if we can hit this plate. It's actually 318 yards, sorry. Uh, we'll see what happens. You have to bear with me, I'm using a uh, 309 scope, so can't see real well. Couldn't uh, I couldn't tell through the scope if that hit it or not, but if it didn't, it was real close. So if you uh, if you want a good shooting muzzleloader, you know you might want to think about building something like this, one of these smokeless ones. You're paying out there. You can see the, uh, where the white paper is in the middle of the screen is 200 and the next burn back is 300. So like I said, this gun started off as a uh, 4570, H&R 4570. It's got a, what they call a slew foot conversion. It uses a Savage breech plug. Uh, really nice setup for, for muzzleloader. Uh, it's light. And then, like I said, using this SR4759 powder, it uh, doesn't kick like a mule either. So, 
All right. Thanks for watching.